Hey guys, how's it going? It's been a while since my last video. Uh, I've been finding stuff here and there, nothing in a great quantity at any one location, uh, like a estate sale here, or thrift store here, find a couple things. Uh, not enough to do uh, a video per location. Uh, I do have probably a couple videos worth of stuff that I found uh, here and there. I'll probably do that shortly. Um, what I wanted to share, I went to the auction, and it's been a while since I found a lot of good stuff at an auction. So I like to always show my receipts when possible because uh, people uh, made comments in my videos that there's no way I can find the stuff that I find at the prices I get it for. So I spent a total of 174.14, and there's uh, probably three items that alone should uh, sell for more than that, and one that might sell for triple that. So uh, first lot was, uh, they call it Yamaha Recorders. That was in the previous lot. Uh, so they kind of screwed up the the uh, title of this. But it was choice on the table. And they, they made piles of stuff. Ended up getting this pile of uh, this uh, 1992 Talkboy recorder for $20 with the Rayman 2 Nintendo 64 game. Uh, this game alone is worth around uh, probably $15, $20. But you want to be on the look for for this. Uh, this was in the movie Home Alone 2. Very uh, desirable, collectible recorder. Does have the original uh, cassette tape that goes with it. I uh, opened it up, had no batteries in it, so there's no corrosion whatsoever. It does work. Believe it or not, uh, that will sell for between $150 and $200 uh, with a cassette. So amazing find there for $20. The uh, next lot, uh, I'll, I'll do the watches. Uh, you guys know I love watches. I did find some watches. I'll skip to the tote full of toys. End up getting this entire tote for $50. It was overflowing with toys. I've started to separate them. But this probably weighed uh, 25 pounds, maybe 30 pounds of uh, vintage 1980s and uh, probably mid-90s toys. So this is the stuff that's in there. Uh, these are called Battletech, uh, mid-90s from Tyco. Have a Hulk Hogan, Macho Man. Uh, Rustlers there, some Fisher Price, and there's a dragon in there somewhere. I uh, sold the dragon before. He's around here somewhere. Uh, but the dragon alone uh, for the castle set, uh, that alone sells for around $30. So that is in there somewhere. And have a Battle Cat from Masters of the Universe. It is missing the lower strap, uh, but that toy alone is worth probably 30, 30 range. Then have some DC like Superpowers, Batman, uh, Ninja Turtles, original Ninja Turtles. Uh, have a She Ra. And some uh, Power Rangers. Some more stuff over here. And some more Power Rangers. Uh, a lot of that stuff, uh, probably end up selling on Facebook Marketplace. I do very well selling the kind of lower end toy lots uh, under $40. Seems to be around 20 to 30 is a sweet spot uh, for toys around here. Uh, you don't have to pay shipping. There's no fees. It's cash in hand, cash and carry. I like do, doing deals like that. So uh, that will probably end up netting me probably a couple hundred dollars profit on that. So a great pickup there. And then the best find, my favorite find, was uh, they called it uh, Choice Miscellaneous Flat. Uh, there's only one other guy bidding against me. Uh, 
so I could have probably got that for five dollars. But uh, usually, you know, it's just how an auction goes. If there's that one guy there that kind of knows what's in there, uh, the price will go up a little bit. But I was willing to go probably three or four hundred, probably three hundred uh, on this lot. I end up getting it for only eighty five dollars. But I love uh, these uh, junk flats. Uh, so I'll show you what's in there. I love going through these when I get home because I end up finding stuff I didn't see at the auction. At the auction, you get kind of overwhelmed. There's so many flats or so many lots. Uh, you don't really have time to go there because I usually preview the auction about an hour before I get there. And there's hundreds of flats. So I kind of jot down uh, my favorite lots and uh, this this auction is kind of hard to buy at because they will sometimes have three up to three auctioneers going at one time. And my luck, a lot of times uh, there'll be two different lots I want that about come up around the same time. And I've missed quite a few lots that way, uh, but that's just how it goes. But very happy with this lot. Has some watches. Has some other miscellaneous things. Uh, this little box here kind of creepy is has two containers full of child's teeth just kind of weird stuff you come across and believe it or not i did search child's teeth on ebay and these would probably sell for around 20 to 30 dollars with that quantity kind of creepy and crazy but you just never know what you can find on ebay and what people will buy have a vintage uh, Japanese puzzle box. So I looked up uh, comparables on those. Those sell for 20 to 40 range. So we did open it up, it does uh, open. And then just some miscellaneous uh, costume jewelry. Has some uh, Chinese stress balls. Another thing that's kind of interesting, this uh, credit card style, uh, size uh, Seiko World Time, uh, like alarm clock. So I did put some batteries in, it does work. Uh, value on that's probably 25 to 40 range, I'm guessing. Uh, little Scorpion uh, paperweight. And just odds and ends, patches, costume jewelry, uh, some ladies' watches, uh, pocket knives. And then the best pieces are going to be over here. have a few ladies' watches. Uh, the best one being this Hamilton. And it is running. It's a gold filled with a stainless steel uh, back. I'm guessing something like this is probably worth $40, so almost half my money back just on that. So really almost the teeth and this watch almost pays the uh, $85 I paid for the whole lot. A, a Casio calculator watch. You see I put a battery in the displays flickering. Uh, if this watch was running, probably around a hundred dollar watch, but in this condition, probably twenty five for parts. Another surprise I didn't see with the, when I first uh, went through it. Didn't find this till I got home. A uh, sterling and eighteen karat gold uh, like keychain up from per from Peru. I saw similar on uh, eBay asking price between $50 and $75 for something similar. So another great piece there. And then uh, three great watches. Uh, one is, is I bought for the band. So have a uh, Sheffield a Diver World Time watch. I did clean this up. This was really filthy. Uh, it was like cut caked in dirt. So uh, I think that alone, people didn't really pay attention to what uh, type of watch this was. It is running and keeping time overnight. So uh, I'm guessing that watch is probably worth one to $200 range, uh, but that will go into my personal collection. I collect uh, these sport type watches. 
And then I've told you guys in the past, uh, also pay attention to watch bands. So just have a, an Eterna, Mat Eterna Matic. Uh, it is missing the crown, uh, but it does run. Uh, this watch with the crown in nice condition is probably a little over $100 for that piece, but with the missing crown running maybe 50 range. Uh, but the reason I bought this is because of the band and have a authentic Omega stainless steel bracelet. So uh, that bracelet alone, I'm um, guessing worth resale probably 200 plus, uh, maybe 150 in low end, 250 on the high end. Uh, still in pretty nice condition, not a lot of stretch in it. Uh, probably end up keeping this because I do have a couple of Omegas. I don't. I do not have an original bracelet or strap for any of my Omegas. They're all aftermarket. So I end up keeping that. And then the best piece is this. Uh, this is a 1976 or 1977 Seiko. It's uh, model number zero six seven four dash five thousand nine. What makes this watch special, it was in a James Bond movie. Um, gosh, I forget the name of it. Uh, it's a Roger Moore movie. And uh, something something about my love, I forget the, the name of the title of the movie offhand. Uh, but I remember watching this movie and he got a, like a message and like a, uh, a ticker tape like came out of the watch uh, paper with like a secret message. Uh, obviously, that was a, a prop, but it was this exact same model watch that was in the movie. Uh, so it is running. A uh, little issue with the display up there. Not sure if that's just the crystal or what, uh, but it's, it has some wear on. Obviously, it's been used. It is fully functional uh, with the original uh, bracelet. Uh, believe it or not, uh, these watches sell for between like $350 and $700 uh, based on condition. So this is probably somewhere in the middle, middle to lower end. Uh, I haven't cleaned it up whatsoever. But uh, this watch, I'm guessing, is worth maybe $350 to $400. Uh, I looked on eBay. There's only one listed right now. I think they're I don't exactly remember the price. I, and I also don't remember if it's actually working. So this is working. Uh, a lot of solds on this watch. And like I said, only one is currently listed on eBay that, eBay that I found. So a great day at the auction. Uh, very happy. You know, this, this box right here, I paid $85 worth. The value in it uh, is probably around $1,000. So you can't beat that deal. Uh, so I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe to see my new videos. Uh, take care and hope you all have a happy holidays. Uh, Merry Christmas.